Let's talk about the classic crypto fantasy, the one that's been circulating since the early days of Bitcoin. It's a vision of a decentralized future, where digital currencies reign supreme and traditional financial institutions become relics of the past. This fantasy often involves something simple, something relatable, something as ubiquitous as a cup of coffee. Imagine buying a coffee with Bitcoin back in 2010, when Bitcoin was still in its infancy, a niche technology embraced by a small community of cypherpunks and early adopters. Back then, a single Bitcoin was worth mere pennies. Today that coffee, or rather the Bitcoin used to purchase it, would be worth millions. A truly staggering return on investment, a testament to the explosive growth of the cryptocurrency market. It's a story that captures the imagination and fuels the dreams of crypto enthusiasts worldwide. It's the ultimate flex, a symbol of financial foresight and early adoption. Imagine casually whipping out your phone and paying for your daily caffeine fix with a digital currency that was once practically worthless. It's about turning digital money into something tangible, something you can hold in your hand and savor like your morning latte. It's the seamless integration of the digital and physical worlds, a glimpse into a future where cryptocurrency is as commonplace as cash, the dream, ditching banks and middlemen, cutting out the intermediaries that have traditionally controlled the flow of money. It's about empowering individuals and creating a more direct and transparent financial system. Paying directly, anywhere in the world, without the need for currency conversions or international transaction fees. A truly global and borderless payment system. All with just your phone and Bitcoin. A simple, elegant, and potentially revolutionary way to transact. But when you actually try to buy that coffee, reality hits. The gap between the idealized vision and the current state of affairs becomes painfully apparent. Confusion at the counter as the barista struggles to understand how to process your cryptocurrency payment. Awkward waits while the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, a process that can take several minutes. And a line of impatient customers, growing increasingly frustrated with the delay. So is this dream real, or just hype? Is the vision of a cryptocurrency-powered future truly within reach, or is it just a pipe dream fueled by wishful thinking? Today we'll break down what it really takes, the technological advancements, the infrastructure improvements, and the widespread adoption that are necessary to make this dream a reality. We'll explore the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead as we examine what it would actually take to buy a coffee with Bitcoin in 2025. Let's dive in and separate the reality from the rhetoric. Quick refresher, Bitcoin is digital gold, run by a decentralized network, not banks or governments. Every transaction is recorded on a public ledger called the blockchain. The big idea, you control your money, no middlemen, no borders. The coffee example is the ultimate test. If Bitcoin works for a $5 coffee, it can work for anything. But Bitcoin was built for security, not speed new transactions are confirmed every 10 minutes. That's great for big transfers but not for grabbing a quick coffee. Here's where the dream and reality start to clash. Imagine starting your day with a simple cup of coffee. For many, it's a ritual, a quick and easy transaction. But what happens when you try to buy that same coffee with Bitcoin? Let's explore the reality. In the digital realm, you initiate the process by scanning a QR code presented by the vendor. This action triggers your Bitcoin wallet to prepare the transaction. You then send the designated amount of Bitcoin, hoping for a swift confirmation. And wait, sometimes 10 minutes or more for confirmation. This delay stems from the way Bitcoin transactions are processed and verified on the blockchain. Each transaction needs to be included in a block, and blocks are added to the chain roughly every 10 minutes. In a cafe surrounded by other customers and the aroma of freshly brewed coffee, it's even more awkward. You scan, everyone waits, the line grows longer, and impatient eyes start to focus on you. And the barista hopes the payment goes through. They're juggling multiple orders and trying to keep the line moving, and a pending Bitcoin transaction adds unnecessary stress. Some shops risk it and give you the coffee before confirmation, trusting that the transaction will eventually be validated, but that's risky for them. If the transaction fails or is reversed, the shop loses money. In a world of instant tap-to-pay where transactions are completed in seconds, waiting minutes for a $5 transaction just doesn't cut it. The contrast is stark and highlights the limitations of using Bitcoin for everyday purchases. Most people, and businesses, don't have time for that. Time is money, and efficiency is key in today's fast-paced world. The base Bitcoin network is simply too slow for everyday purchases. Its design prioritizes security and decentralization over speed, making it unsuitable for quick routine transactions. That's a big problem. 
For Bitcoin to become a widely adopted form of payment, it needs to overcome this fundamental limitation. Speed isn't the only issue, fees are another killer. Bitcoin transaction fees can spike to $5, $10 or more during busy times making your $5 coffee cost $15. That's fine for big transfers but a deal breaker for small buys. Add in Bitcoin's wild price swings and merchants risk losing money before they even get paid. Most businesses don't accept Bitcoin at all so finding a cafe that does is rare. For now, using Bitcoin for coffee is more novelty than practicality. The dream is still out of reach. Is there a potential fix for Bitcoin's scalability issues? A solution that could bring the promise of instant and affordable transactions to life? Enter the Lightning Network, a Layer 2 solution built on top of Bitcoin. It's designed to address the limitations of the base layer, allowing for faster and cheaper transactions without compromising the security of the Bitcoin blockchain. This innovative approach adds a new dimension to the Bitcoin ecosystem. Think of it as a network of payment channels, a web of interconnected pathways that enable users to transact directly with each other, bypassing the need to record every single transaction on the main blockchain. This allows for instant tiny transactions, micropayments that would be impractical or too costly on the main Bitcoin network. The result is transactions with almost zero fees, a significant improvement over the often high transaction costs associated with Bitcoin. Imagine this. You open a channel with a coffee shop, establishing a direct line of payment between you and the merchant. You can then pay instantly, for every cup of coffee, every pastry, without waiting for confirmations. And only settle on the main blockchain when you're done with your coffee runs, when you decide to close the channel. This final settlement acts as a record of all the transactions that occurred within the channel. No more waiting for block confirmations, no more high fees eating into your purchase. Even better, you don't need a direct channel with every single vendor. Payments can route through others instantly, finding the most efficient path to the recipient. Lightning makes buying coffee with Bitcoin fast and cheap, making it a viable option for everyday transactions. Wallets and apps are catching up, integrating Lightning Network functionality to provide a seamless user experience. This is making the experience almost as easy as tap to pay, bringing Bitcoin closer to mainstream adoption. The original dream of using Bitcoin for everyday purchases is finally within reach, thanks to the Lightning Network. So, is Bitcoin coffee about to go mainstream? Not quite yet. Lightning is promising but it's still a bit complex for everyday users. Wallets need to get even simpler and more shops need to accept it. Payment processors are making it easier for businesses but adoption is still limited. For now, buying coffee with Bitcoin is mostly for enthusiasts. But with Lightning's growth, the $5 crypto coffee is becoming a real possibility. The dream is getting closer, one cup at a time.